so hello everyone and uh, we have seen a lot of concepts uh, in the previous three weeks and today in the, this week i will uh, talk about quantum states and quantum circuits and after this we will be ready to dive deep into the mathematics and use quantum glasses so let's finish off the last part of this first phase of our journey So although the cover image of this video was quite fancy, but this is how a quantum circuit actually looks like. So let's decode this quantum circuit. So first of all, these two black solid thick lines that you can see here uh, represents qubits. Okay. So there are two qubits represented in this particular circuit. And every quantum circuit is read from left to right. And this left to right arrow actually shows the progression in time. So let's understand this in a bit more detail. So let's uh, let's go to the left part of this circuit. Uh, you can see these two zero ket and one ket return here, right? And these numbers actually represents the initial state of the qubits. Okay. So this is the first phase. Every quantum circuit can be divided into these three phases three typical phases and this is the first phase where you prepare your qubits in the initial state and you already know what are zero ket and one ket right so this is the first phase preparing the qubits in their initial state now you can see uh, these red lines here so these uh, red lines i have just drawn them uh, these are not a part of or uh, they don't have any significance i have just drawn them for a better explanation so you can ignore them so now let's come to these uh, squares these blocks that you can see here so these blocks here uh, denote uh, quantum gates so there are various types of quantum gates single qubit gates uh, two qubit gates and don't worry we will see all of them uh, in this series uh, using uh, quantum glasses we will visualize them and uh, at the same time i will also tell you the mathematics that goes behind it so you should consider subscribing so whenever that video drops you are uh, automatically notified right so and uh, note that uh, these quantum gates are different than uh, the classical gates we have so like we have classical gates uh, you know and gate or gate but these class uh, these uh, quantum gates here actually denote a particular operation so for example you can see this uh, gate with h return in it this gate actually denotes the operation of quantum superposition right and uh, all of the different gates have different meanings and uh, we will see that so don't worry about it but just know that these squares here actually denote these quantum gates which are nothing uh, but uh, are kind of operation that you perform on qubits and uh, then uh, you can see also these phi is written over here phi is psi 0 psi 1 so this greek letter psi actually just uh, i have used it to uh, denote the change in the state of qubits right so whenever you apply a quantum gate there is a transition in the state of a qubit so these psi uh, just uh, denote that there is now there is a change in the state of a qubit so psi 1 is not equal to psi 0 so i have just uh, drawn it uh, just written them so i can explain you it explain it to you so uh, let's come to this bigger block block here this one and this is oracle and uh, these oracles are at the heart of quantum computing and uh, the video about uh, this is this circ this entire quantum circuit uh, actually represents the dodge algorithm this is the circuit of the dodge algorithm which is a sort of hello world of uh, quantum computing and uh, a video about the same will be releasing really soon on the channel so just uh, you should keep an eye on the channel for that and so for uh, for time being you can just skip this oracle because it will uh, require some explanation and uh, you can see again that as, as soon as 
you apply this oracle there is again this state change which is denoted by psi2 right then after that i again apply this hadamard gate and uh, correspondingly there is this another change of state which is represented by psi3 right and this concludes the quantum circuit for uh, the dodge algorithm so in here what you see are only two typical uh, phases of a quantum circuit the first one uh, the first one is here the first one is here where you prepare the qubits in their initial states then the second one is here where you apply various uh, you know various quantum gates uh, for the various uh, operations uh, that you want to perform on the qubits the way you want to change the states of those qubits so considering that you apply these various gates on the qubits and there is there comes the third operation which is called the measurement operation so how do you actually extract the output of your quantum circuit so this measurement operation actually helps you to extract your output from the quantum circuit and store it in a classical bit okay so these these three are the typical phases of any quantum circuit and uh, with that said uh, th this concludes the video here and in the next week i will we will slowly go through all the gates and uh, i will tell you the mathematics that drives these gates and we will also visually understand the transition that takes place uh, in these gates using our tool quantum glasses so with that said i will uh, take your leave in this week but we will meet next time in next week but uh, and until then take care